Hello everyone, myself Vidya Vise. Today I am going to explain my hybrid framework for the, for UI test cases, writing UI test cases. For that, uh, I have taken the Amazon website on which I am uh, writing the test cases, UI test cases. So for that, I go through, I went through that uh, website and I found uh, some page navigations. So these are some page navigations that uh, on Amazon web page, we get, we get a home page. From that, we directly go to the login page or else we can go in this way, search result, product detail, add to cart, order page. And after order page, if we have not logged in, we have to log in. Again, it will take us on the home page or else if we are not registered, it will take us on account creation. So this is just overview from page to page, how we navigate from page to page on Amazon website. So using this, uh, I have tried to write some basic uh, architecture for creating the framework. So this uh, architecture is here. So com.agastya.base is my base first package I have created in which I wrote, uh, I have written base class where uh, for the entire uh, test or we can see suite, uh, I have defined one config file configuration file, property file, in which I have defined which uh, browser I'm going to use, which uh, URL I'm taking and username, password for register user. And these are some parameters I have defined in that configuration file and that file get uh, load before suite. So I use this annotation before suite. Then web driver initial initialization, uh, we have to do before every test case. So I have used this add the right before method in annotation for setting and launching the browser. Get driver to get the driver instance, uh, which is uh, same for entire framework, or uh, which should be same for entire framework. And quit browser for quitting the browser after every test case. So I have used that after method annotation before that method tear down. After that, I have created one class keyword in which I try to write uh, some keywords which I needed to write the test cases. So these are some examples that open browser, launch URL, send text, click on, get page title like that. I have defined different keywords in this uh, keyword class, which is defined in the base package. And I have created one com.page object package in which I have written page objects or we can say page classes. So I have written these four classes, home page, login page, add to cart page and search result page. And using this keyword class and page objects, for which base class is there. I have uh, written home page test, login page test, add to cart page test, and search result page test. Page wise test, I have uh, test cases I have written in com.ui.test package. So we will see actually uh, what is there in my framework. So first is the base class where I said that I written uh, load config method which get executed before suite, which loads this config.property file where I have written some parameters like URL, username, password, and browser name. Then which get load before suite. Then uh, I wrote set and launch browser where I have used some keywords used in the keyword class. So launch browser, page load, timeout, and launch URL. These are some keywords which I have defined in the keyword class and which I have used in this base class also. So these are those methods. Launch browser, which takes the browser name and create the driver instance. If invalid browser passed, then it will stop the execution. Then launch URL where I'm passing the URL. So this information get <clears throat> I'm getting from the configuration dot properties file in the base class. So get property dot uh, prop dot get property URL. Like that I'm getting that information from the property file. Here also I'm getting the browser name. After that, uh, so I have written this get driver method, which returns that uh, driver instance. And this is the tear down method where I'm quitting that but, uh, driver instance. So after method and before method, these are two annotations I have used. 
for executing these two methods before test case and after test case. Next, uh, I have created com.page objects where I have created these four to five pages. So first is the home page where I have written these uh, elements which I needed to write the test cases on the home page. So uh, I have used here uh, CSS for every web element to find. And using these web elements, I have written these methods, hover on user sign in, click on. So whatever uh, actions we are going to perform on the home page, for every action, we can write the method in the page object for that particular page. So like that, I have some taken some methods that hover on user sign in, click on sign in, click on sign out like that, search product. So these are some validate my wish list, validate my order his, history, then sign in, get current. Order. So these are some methods or we can say actions we can perform on the home page. For that, I have written the methods in the home page class. And for that, I have used methods from the keyword class. So for this, like this, I have written login page also, then search result page also. Same, whatever the actions we are performing on that particular page, I have written a method for each of them. And using this keyword and page objects, I have written the test cases page-wise. So first is the home page test. Here, what is actually in, uh, on Amazon website. We are getting this home page. Here we are getting my mouse over. Then we go to the this web element. We click on this and we get this login page. So from home page, we navigate to uh, login page. And for this purpose, I have created home page and as well as login page test. So when we, uh, we uh, put log, uh, when we click on wish list, it will first check whether it is signed in, whether the user is signed in or not. And for that, I am taking home page. And if it is not signed in, it will take you on login page or else it will again, uh, if you are uh, after login, you will again come back to the home page. And for that, uh, I'm taking this home page and login page objects. Using home page, I'm calling the sign in method of home page. It will give the URL of valid wish list page. And I am asserting that URL with the actual URL. So, get, uh, not actual URL. I'm comparing, asserting it with get page title so that we can get to know whether we are on the right page or not. So, this is my assert put for this wish list on uh, sign in. But we can write the same test case uh, without sign in also to check the whether we are getting the different page or not. Like that, I have written these methods order and return on sign in, logout test. So these are some uh, actions we can perform on the home page, uh, test on the home page. Like that, there is a login page test. Where login test method, uh, login test is one test case where user is going to enter the data, passing the data and getting the uh, and say, uh, checking whether a uh, user is able to log in or not. So for that, I am uh, asserting the actual URL and expected URL because after login uh, for register user, it will take again home page. And if it is not register user, it will take account creation page. So after registered user enter the username password it will whether it is taking us on amazon home page or not for that i am taking asserting this actual url and expected url and if it is matched then login is successful so like that i have put this test case for home page uh, for login page and for home page order and wish list test are there and for search result page i have written one test case that is search result as per the entered key. So, same test case we are taking in our sessions that stick uh, sneakers, uh, list string. Here I'm calling the search result page, get product title method, which is defined in the search result page. It will give us list of strings, uh, that is the product titles. And accordingly, I'm asserting that title, whether it contains sneaker or not. 
and then uh, printing this just uh, logs. Uh, I'm trying to put these logs into some uh, separate file that code is uh, remember uh, progress. So I will do that also. I have not inserted uh, screenshots and listeners still now. It is also in progress. So I will do that and I will again uh, represent my framework with the same uh, website. So I will show this for search result page, this test case get executed. From where it is getting, it is not getting the sneaker, that's why it's get filled. Next login page test, I, I run all. You need to get sign in, taking the data. It get passed. So login test get passed for login page and home page. Still, I have not uh, written negative test cases for the same positive test cases. So this is one test case which is also passed for the registered user order and return on signing. So this is all about my framework, whatever I have designed still now. And it is in progress. That's it. Thank you.